Okay, in this video I just want to talk about finding the equation of a line using point-slope form as opposed to slope-intercept. And what I'm going to do here, so I've got a little picture, find the equation of the line that goes through the point negative 3, 5. So remember negative 3, 5 would go 3 units to the left and 5 units up. So there's my little, my little point, um, negative 3, 5, and also through 2, 8. So I go over 2 and up 8. Just by eyeballing this, I can tell that the slope is going to have to be positive just because the, uh, the line's increasing as we move left to right. So point-slope form um, simply says the following. So point-slope form And if you remember one equation of a line, remember this one. So it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, and the way to remember this, if you remember the slope, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Notice if you multiply both sides of this equation by x2 minus x1 and then x2 minus x1. Well, on the right, the x2 minus x1s will cancel, so it's a little sloppy here. But we've basically got y minus y1 equals m, and then the difference of the x-coordinates, which is basically just the point-slope formula. You can erase the little subscripts on the first y and the first x, and we've now got point-slope form. So that's all it comes from. It just comes from the definition of slope. The only things we have to fill in is we have to replace the y1 with, our y, with a, a y-coordinate, we have to replace x sub 1 with an x coordinate, and we have to calculate the slope. Okay, so we're given two points. I can pick on either one of these two points that I want. Um, I'm going to use the second point as my x1 and my y1. And the only reason why I'm picking that is they're both positive, so I don't have to worry about signs. So it, I know that I'll get y minus the y coordinate. So it'll be y minus the y coordinate, which is 8. Um, I'll have to calculate the slope still. x minus the x coordinate, which is just 2. Okay, so I've almost got the equation of my line already. Again, the only thing I'm missing is the slope. Well, we saw um, how to find the slope in, the, in another video, and that's just the change in y over the change in x. So it says I take, I subtract the y coordinates, so I'll take 8 minus 5. I'll have to be a little careful with my signs on the bottom part. I'll get 2 minus negative 3. 8 minus 5 is just 3. Remember, 2 minus negative 3, well, 2 negatives turn into a positive, so that'll give me um, 2 plus 3, or a slope of 3 fifths. So all I have to do now is plug this slope of 3 fifths in, and then I'll have the equation of my line. Okay, so let me plug in my 3 fifths. And you now have the equation of the line that goes through these two points. Um, a lot of people like to see this in y equals mx plus b form, or they feel like if they don't write it like that, um, they've done something wrong. So we can go ahead and simplify, um, or just move things around. So if I distribute on the right side, you can think about both of these as being fractions over 1. So if I take the 3 fifths times x over 1, I'll get 3 fifths x, and I will uh, make my second one a fraction. So 3 minus 2, excuse me, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. On the bottom, I'll get 5. This minus 8, well, I would like to move it to the right side. So to move it to the right side, I'll simply add 8 to both sides. So I'll have to add 8 to the right side. So if I add 8 um, on the left side, it'll simply cancel out, and that'll leave me with the y. The 8 that I moved over, I could make that 8 over 1. And if I multiply top and bottom by 5 so that I get common denominators, I'll get 40 over 5. And once I combine those together, so I have y equals 3 fifths x. Once I combine them, I'll be done. So again, the arithmetic happens on the top. Negative 6 plus 40, that is what? Positive 34 over 5, and that is now the equation of the line, again, that goes through my two points, negative 3, 5, and 2, comma 8, 
And again, we've just uh, put it in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. But again, you know, you could have stopped. Um, you could have stopped at this point. Um, this is also the equation of a line. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no reason. Um, Personally, I feel like you have to write it like this, but um, sometimes teachers will want you to put it in this form, if nothing else, just for algebra practice. All right, I hope this video uh, helps you out and makes some sense. If not, just post a comment, and uh, hopefully somebody will get to it quickly.